I bought myself a bivy bag. Actually, I've got two bivy bags there. One was part of the military, the US military sleep system, the MSS. Two sleeping bags and a Gore-Tex bag. Um, but I also bought a bivy bag that's sort of like a hooped bivy. Um, and it appears as though, from my web research, this is what's happened, it, that someone had um, washed it, which removed the waterproofing. Um, and I've got an old Gore-Tex jacket there, which I'll try to re-waterproof with the same Nick Wax treatment, something that I researched. I'll show you the issue here. This one had um, two issues, um, one of which I've attempted to fix by ironing his. I don't know if you can catch that. I'll put some still photos up, but basically there's some bubbling. This material is a laminate, and the bubbling is caused by the different layers delaminating. So you can apparently iron that back together. Well, actually, you can iron that back together. I used a warm iron and um, re-laminated 90% of it, but there's still a few little bubbles there. But I'll try to show you the issue that's happening with the waterproofing. All right, this is the bag that, when you wash them with detergent, it removes the waterproofing treatment. This is the bivy that's got the issue. I'll show you, because I did test this before. This bag, the um, US MSS, has no issues at all. If I pour water on it, where are you, camera? See how that beads up significantly, and then the water just rolls off. That is what it's supposed to do. This US military sleep system is a Gore-Tex as well. Um, <coughs> I don't think it's quite as advanced as the other laminate, but obviously never washed, that's fine. This is, you know, obviously secondhand surplus, but it's beating the water fine. Now, I'll show you what happens on this one. Yeah. I'm hoping you guys can see that. I hope you guys can see that it's not beating. <clears throat> if the Gore-Tex was working, it would beat up. Um, but instead, it's actually just hanging around on the material. And because of that, it comes through on this side. But yeah, this one here, it's kind of useless as a bivy because that water peeks through and um, gets you wet inside. So hopefully, I'm going to use two, two treatments, a Nick Wax wash and a Nick Wax spray. Well, drying off now, 
It's had the afternoon with sun coming and going. Um, interestingly, a lot of the areas, I don't know if you can see that, but where it was starting to delaminate, they've come back after the washing. So I'll have to iron it again. But uh, all in all, fairly happy. Now, I'm not sure actually whether it was really washed because when I washed it in the Nick wax stuff, oh my god, you should have seen all of the, the color of the water, brown. Um, and they say to rinse it two or three times. Well, I had to rinse it two or three times just to get the water to go clear. So it was dirty. Okay, <clears throat> it's um, day two. It had all yesterday in the sun and it's had a half a day. Now, it said in the instructions just to dry it out, the Nick Wax instructions, but um, I was told by um, t some a tent manufacturer that it's better to leave it out for like multiple days, three days or something, just to kind of bake the waterproofing in. This is day two and I'm impatient, so I'm gonna have a test. Um, this is kind of the acid test, so to speak. Now, I'll pour a bit of water on it. It still has, like you could see on the other video, the um, those bits that have delaminated. What I'll do is actually um, use the iron and fix those up. But just for now, let's try a little water on it. And see if it beads up. <coughs> Where are we? Well, it looks a bit better. Beading. I think it's still staying in, staying on the surface a little bit. It's definitely much better than it was. Let's try the top bit. That this bit because it's taut should shed the water quite easily, I would say. Not a hundred percent. Well, let's give it another day to dry and see. Okay, this is take two of the treatment. I wasn't happy with how the first one worked out. Like it did seem to add a little bit of waterproofness, but not much. So what I've done is I went and bought another bottle and uh, this time just absolutely drenched it. Um, and so now we'll try to dry it off again. I, I sprayed it before and didn't really rub it in, but this time I sprayed the living heck out of it and rubbed it in with a cloth, so it's quite coated. When I set it up, I just set it up on the grass last night and left it out, and some water had come through onto the bottom of the sleep the sleeping pad that I put in it. I didn't sleep in it, I just left it out. So just the weight of the sleeping pad on it, it seeped a bit of water from the ground. It wasn't wet, just moisture from the ground, so it's a bit disappointing. But anyway, it is drenched now and drying off. Well, it seems like I'm a little jinxed. With regards to rain, the forecast said there was going to be some rain very early in the morning this morning and then it was clearing and it was going to be dry and sunny all day and it's been raining now for about two and a half hours. 
Yeah, it does seem to be performing better than it had before, but it's still kind of soaking in a little bit. Anyway, it's been drenched for a couple of hours, so I'm about to get in and have a look now that the rain's eased for a bit and see if it has kept the water out. Okay. Well, it appears to have stayed dry.